Welcome to the Ellen at Black Film video cast. I am joined by my co-host Hakeem Graham. Hi, Hak. Hey, what's going on, El? Not much. How are you? Feeling really good. Um, I had an idea. I'm going to make a face mask since we're in quarantine. Okay. But I didn't put my lower face on there. I got that from Jimmy Kimmel. Shout out, Jimmy. But then you thought against it. <laughs> then I thought it against it. Okay. <laughs> right, because how, how, how hearing you would probably be difficult. That'd probably be a good thing sometimes. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Depends on who's listening. That's true. <laughs> so we, um, the Ellen at Black Film video cast, we highlight the latest in Black film news exclusives and reviews. So today we're doing exactly that. We're talking about, you know, what's hot as it relates to Black film. And we have um, a good list of topics to talk about today. So first one is... Uh, Blackfilm.com recently caught up with directors uh, Cootie and Chike uh, in regards to their uh, horror anthology series, Soul City. And for those that don't know, um, Cootie and Chike have been around for quite some time. They are best known for directing Kanye West's music video, Through the Wire. They also did Erica Badu's Window Seat, just to name a few. And they also directed ESPN's uh, 30 for 30 film, Benji, which is a film about a high school basketball player that is tra tragically killed. So again, they've been around for a minute. So um, I think it's dope that they are coming out with something that's left field, that sets them apart, the whole horror uh, series from an urban perspective. I'm loving that. Uh, I'm curious to hear what you think about this, because this is right up your genre. Oh, I, my favorite genre, one of my favorite genres besides sci-fi, um, I think it's great because they are coming up with this themselves. It's sort of a, a, a horror film based in Louisiana. And it, Louisiana always had an eerie feeling to me, down mm -hmm. to the music and the jazz. Not necessarily bad eerie, but like eerie and there's a lot of history. It's sort of like going to a, a cemetery, if you will. And I think that brings a lot of intrigue for me into the horror story. And, and, and the fact that it's based in a, a African-American perspective is actually pretty good to me too. Um, I also like the fact that they're featuring a lot of good people. Um, Omar Dorsey from, um, he plays Hollywood, um, Desjardins, Desjardins. I can never get those French names right because I'm, I'm also um, Queen and Sh Wait. Queen Sugar. Hold on. There's a weird buzzing sound. There's a weird buzzing sound. There's a buzzing sound there. Um, also, Chad Coleman played Cuddy on the Wire. Um, Dorian Crossman uh, Massick, he played Damien in the TV series Six Degrees of uh, Separate, uh, six, excuse, six Degrees. And also, people don't know this, but he also did voiceover for a Grand Theft Auto, the video game. Oh, that's okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> And also, um, and also, this is streaming on um, a new platform, and I would like you to speak to that. So the platform is called Topic. So apparently it's a new platform, which is a new streaming service on First Look Media. So first this is the first, the first I'm hearing about it. So I'm, I'm glad that there's um, yet another streaming service that just showcases more good film, uh, more good uh, TV series, and... So so now on topic, by the way. So to your point, it it reminds me of a Twilight Zone type of vibe in that vein, and Tales from the Crypt type of thing, right? I watched, yeah, and I think I think I think you're right. Yeah, I watched the trailer, the clip um, on uh, Black Film, and I was I was spooked out because it was a, a like a almost two minute scene between uh, who was it, Chad Coleman and P.J. Morton. So first of all. P.J. Morton being in this is just kind of throwing me for a loop because he's a musician. He's he's in the Maroon 5 band. So I'm like, wait, what? When did he transition into acting? I mean, it, it's great, but that threw me for a good loop. So the scene in the clip is between Coleman and Morton, and it's pretty spooky. It's very it's, eerie. It's very eerie. And then I think it, it sets it up really well in the way that it leaves you wanting to know, all right, what's the, what happens to this Black man when, once he gets in his cab? and goes to this unknown address, what is going to happen to him? Well, see, and that's the that's the intrigue I have in the, in the sensibility of the Southern uh, hospitality. It's so strange because, you know, we're from the North. 
you put me in a cab and tell me to go to an address. I'm like, no, dog, that's not me. <laughs> exactly. So I'm I'm stuck there. Uh, I, I, I'm willing to extend my uh, my belief a little bit. Yeah. Um, but, but that sounds a little strange to me. But it's intriguing. I actually do want to see where this goes because I'm a horror film buff. Um, also, at the same time, it's uh, it left me wanting or needing more of that story. I, I, I searched for more trailers, so I was like really kind of like thirsting for more because I wanted yeah. to get to like at least give me a little bit more suspense for the trailer. Um, but I, alas, I'm probably going to watch this because it's a horror film and it's it's uh, African-American based. Uh, so it, like I said in previous um, reviews, I like to hear our stories and I like to hear the, the gambit of it. So that's where I come from. Also to, to mention that um, back to the topic um, streaming platform, um, I realized in looking them up, you can uh, do a free trial for 30 days. And after that trial, you can do $5, $5.99 per month or you can do $59.99 per month. And that's probably just a drop in the bucket considering all the other platforms that are out there. So if this is an entree, this is a pretty good entree. And they have a plethora of films um, coming up. I took a look at their, their site. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm not mad at that price. Um, also, my last uh, comment on this topic is I love what Chike, one of the directors, said in his interview with um, Wilson Morales on BlackFilm.com. Uh, he talked about how he uses his dreams, like the dreams he has while in deep sleep, yes. yes. to tell these stories. And so he'll have a dream and then he'll holler at Cootie and they'll you know, build on that concept. And from that comes the series. I think that's amazing. I also think um, they made a point to mention Jordan Peele and the fact that, you know, the success of Get Out and Us and the proof in the numbers, like we want to see movies like this from people that look like us. So I think it was very smart of them to, to jump on this bandwagon because it's a demographic that um, hasn't been quite tapped into yet. Not, not on a large scale. Well, I think I think a lot of uh, and numbers count, and and people are 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 look, listening to um, what the people are saying in terms of visiting the the movie theaters and, and streaming. Um, the numbers have to get up there because if we can prove that there's a there's a market for it, they'll come. It's the basis of uh, economics. If you have a market and it proves that your your product is a wanted product, people are going to back it. And I think this is what we need to do. We need to put cast our lines out with movies just like this, Jordan Peele included, and see if we can get some uh, movement on this. And I think the more we do this, the more we'll get out of uh, the new black Hollywood, which is Atlanta. Here, here. <laughs> nice. All right. So um, just so people know, Topic is available to U.S. and Canadian audiences on Topic.com, on Apple TV and iOS. Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android, and Amazon Prime video channel. So I don't know that anyone has an excuse not to check this out because it's available everywhere. And it's a free 30-day trial, so try it out. Yes. All right. So moving on. Next, UMC, which is the Urban Movie Channel, is set to premiere action-packed thriller Double Cross oh. on the 21st. Okay. So the series is directed and executive produced by the sister and brother duo, Crystal and Howard Gibson of the Gibson Films. And it stars Darren Duet Hansen from Showtime Soul Food. And yep. also he's a choreographer. Ashley A. Williams from His, Hers, and Truth. Jasmine Burt from Bounce TV, Saints and Sinners. Tremaine Norris from House of Cards. By the way, Tremaine Norris reminds me of a fairer skin with Michael B. Jordan, but that might just be me. <laughs> um, and then newcomer Jeff Logan. So really quick, if I'm more inclined to watch this because of Jeff Logan, because the aesthetic is beautiful. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Good God. If nothing else, I'm watching it because of him. No, but the trailer... Um, yeah. The trailer was pretty good. The trailer had me tuned in and wanting to know what the hell was going on. I mean, you have murder, you got uh, uh, drug dealing, you got um, human trafficking, you got someone being murdered with a saw or a chain. Like, yeah, it's a lot going on. And it's all people that look like us. So I love that. Well, I was intrigued, just like you were. This, not just from uh, our, our friend Jeff Logan, um, who, if I show you the before pictures, It'll be a different story. Uh, <laughs> Here's a before. Yeah. Okay. All 
right, go ahead. The before picture. Um, but no, I'm not hating on him. Um, he is a very good looking guy. There is a huge cast, and they are very. This is a. This is probably one of the most good looking cast I've ever seen on a set of any sort. I mean, I'm not even lying. I'm. I'm. And I, I'm. I'm. You know how people say, "Well, I'm." I'm. I'm not saying this because I'm not gay. Literally, everybody in this film looks good. Jeff Logan, in particular, tattooed up, body's tight, um, and there is a reason for that. Just so you know. Jeff Logan is also the CEO of Become um, Nutrition Bodybuilder. He's also a model. He also owns New Beast. He's also a, new, a former um, NFL free agent. So this that guy, makes sense. yeah. That so he's and he just had a baby, by the way, not too long ago. Um, nice. Um, he's, he has. I don't know if he's married to her, but he's 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 bunged up. Um, he Sorry. is. A very, <laughs> I, I threw that out there because I knew you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's bunged up, and and for shout out to him for that. Um, Cat looks good, really good. Um, from the clip, he seems like he has a grasp on the, the set, a grasp on the material. Um, he looks like he's a, a he looks show worthy. He looks like a star. He looks like if we weren't in pandemic, my God, he would be a winner. I'm serious. He he's seriously. Um, he is. Um, he. He plays a twin with Erica, who who is um, played by Jasmine Burke, um, no, and that wait, was wait, no Erica's played by Ashley Williams. Sorry, Ashley Williams. Ashley who, Williams. Who, by the way, is just as hot as Jeff. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's what I mean. Yeah. So they're all really good looking, and, and and they just opposed each other because they playing playing um, fraternal twins, and that was cool. Erica and Eric. I thought yeah. that was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but the most exciting thing about it is they play off each other very well, almost as if they they had this relationship for a while. And again, they're both very attractive people, so this makes it a lot lot believable. Um, born on uh, born in the same household, sometimes you get different messages. You can see that you know she's a doctor and and he's pretty much a street hustler. But you know they find a common bond and come together for a common cause, and that's cool. It makes for great film. It makes for um, great American uh, TV. So I'm excited to see this. I want to see this. Um, I can't wait. I'll pay whatever this, the, the price is to watch this because I, I, I really think this is going to be a hit. And this will probably go all across all lines, ethnically, because it's a really good-looking cast. Not just physically, but they just they just gel for, for that what I saw. I agree with you there. It, they, it, they, it had a believable quality. Uh, not only did they look good, but the acting looked good too. Acting looked so good. I think, you know, if nothing else, um, we can, you know, wax poetic about how good looking they were. But what's drawing me in is the good acting that I saw in the trailer. So I hope that translates to the whole yeah. movie. And, you know, for those that aren't familiar with Urban uh, Movie Channel, you know, just Google it. It's I think it's a subscription uh, service as well. And it's just all urban movies like and i looked at the movie list they look pretty good so i signed up so i, <laughs> I, I, want, to do, I want to do a deep dive and just explore the urban movie channel well yeah and uh particularly for for uh double cross it's like you said it was airing uh you said did you say when it was airing may 21st may 21st yeah um i, I looked into it the first season will have six episodes and it'll it'll show weekly, so that's a kind of cool thing that uh, it's going on. So you don't miss anything. Sort of like a um, a very good mini series, uh, a novella or or stories like my mom used to watch when I was a kid. But this is a little bit more high intense, and I think this is really cool. Uh, one of the things I wanted to note that um, all the stars in this show, Darren DeWitt Henson from uh, Showtime Soul Food, um, uh, like I said, Ashley Williams, right? Um, Jasmine Burke from Bounce uh, TV Saints and Sinners. Remember that? Yeah. Um, um, Tremaine Norris from House of Cards. One thing that I wish I had, I had auditioned for. And, of wow. course, you know, the new guy, Jeff Logan, who's already a star himself. Yeah. Um, he also has a lot of media pages, Facebook, uh, Instagram. He is selling himself. And uh, along with the other lines, I think he he's going to be something to, to, to see going forward. Yeah, I can't wait to see his acting skills. Okay, so moving on. Uh, BET renews Tyler Perry's The Oval Insistence. Now, I'm not surprised by this. No. 
at all because it's done really well in terms of viewership. I think it's number one and two um, for scripted shows or scripted it series. Is. It is. And the storylines are wild and exaggerated, which I think yeah. is what makes it compelling. Um, and I also think that's where Tyler Perry strikes gold, right? Because his ability to tell gripping stories with underlying messages, in my mind, is unmatched. He has managed to corner that niche in a way that I don't know that I've seen in the past. You know, just for some context, the first episode of The Oval, you know, interior, White House, they're in the, the master bedroom. It's the uh, president who's white and the, the first lady who's black. And they are going at each other's throats. He, he throws a punch at her. She throws a punch back. And they are throwing bows like two grown men. Secret Service comes in. They're, you know, ripping her off of him. And, you know, so just mentally visualize seeing that in the first three minutes on a new show. I think that's genius. Welcome to the new White House. Okay. It's genius on Tyler Perry's part because... I'm watching to see where else this goes. There's only there's nowhere to go but up from from this madness. Absolutely, um, I think I think I would, it reminded me and, and not necessarily reminded me of, but it, it scandal led uh, made room for something like this, right? The natural progression of, of what this this show represents, um, uh, you know, uh, president and white and first lady, first lady black, president white. You know, they uh, dated on scandal. Um, in terms of, of ethnicity, which was really unique. Um, I think Tyler Perry brings a lot of his experiences and uh, on the stage and in his other TV movies to, to these shows, and in particular Oval. Um, I, I, I want to say I'm mindful of the fact that I may think he may be pigeonholed, even though it is his niche, to Chitlin Circuit-ish things because he's he's sort of bringing the same genre uh, content sort of in terms of writing um situational and i think people will uh the people who watched him who followed him for a long time will, will want to see him naturally progress and he will because he's done a lot of things and i still love tyler perry wait but i think that's his intention he knows no, no, that that is is intention. what he's doing that's true and he's okay with that he's not no, trying no. to be anything other than what he wants to be right and my my thing is that's fine because I, I enjoy it my thing is and i'm thinking of from the outside of myself because i'm trying to say speak to another side uh the other side would be are people how long will people do that i don't what i'm saying is i don't want it to be stale in other words is it the same story it's, it's sort of not the same story but the same premise and I, there are a lot of other stories we can tell and he tells them but i, I want to see different because i've seen every Tyler Perry movie. And the only reason why I watched him is because it's very entertaining, it's very good writing, and Tyler Perry is a genius. So I'm saying to myself, Tyler, great writing, great shows, great creativity. I love the fact that you own your own studio. I just worry about people outside of us who love him, trying to put him into a pigeonhole. As an actor, I noticed that I've been doing that. That has happened to me. I don't, I don't think he gives a shit. Pardon my French. And I don't think that it matters if anyone outside of who his demographic is in his mind thinks differently about what he's doing. But that's just my opinion. Yeah. Um, but I think that's what makes him cool. He yeah. is set on providing a specific sort of story uh, for a specific demographic. Now, if he evolves out of that at some point, then kudos to him. But yeah, I'm, I not check I'm not check I'm not... I don't care if anyone else is looking at it like, eh, you know, he's he's here and he could be here. I mean, this man is a studio for crying out loud. So I'm he's going to do whatever he wants to do. I'm thinking in terms of numbers, like watchability. Uh, uh, he's crunching numbers, huh? He's no, no, he's no, he's crunching numbers. But I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a, I, I'm a history buff when it comes to Hollywood, and I I watch how MGM built theirs. I watch how Paramount built theirs. They had they had how do I say this? They had pigeonholed actors into contracts and they could not work outside of their, their uh, movie house. And only when they, they were able to work outside of them did it explode. You got these $100,000, $100 million movies. 
uh, Titanic, um, um, uh, a lot of other movies. And I'm thinking to myself, I want to see that type of thing. I want to see him get to that point faster. I want him to break those barriers faster. But that's just, I'm just saying it from my perspective, because as an actor, I see where they, people, producers, movie uh, uh, production companies will pigeonhole you. And I, I don't, I don't want to see that for him because he, I think, I really do think he's a genius. He brought himself from the bottom and literally to the top. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see where he, he where he is 10, yeah. 15, 20 years from now. And, I, and to, to the yeah. credit, I am, what I'm saying is I agree with you, but I'm, I play devil av devil's advocate on the other side because I'm, I'm okay. always doing that way. Yeah, I get it. Um, and so we'll, we'll have this conversation in 10 years. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. <laughs> and we shall see. So production starts July 8th with uh, premiere dates for both of the series um, being forthcoming. So we shall see where that uh, ends up. Um, so last but not least, Mary oh. Jane. So the trailer to Body Cam, a horror thriller mm. starring Mary J. Blige and Matt Wolf recently dropped. Um, and it's also co-starring David Zayas and Anika Noni Rose. Mm -hmm. Mary J plays a veteran LAPD who observes the mysterious and supernatural figure uh, do something that she can't quite explain. And she's observing this through a body cam of a slain officer, which yeah. you know, it, it's, it's not a groundbreaking um, storyline, <laughs> but it's intriguing enough that I want to watch it uh, because Mary's in it. Um, and it's, you know, the quintessential cat and mouse mystery, and I love a good mystery. And I want to see who and what the supernatural is, uh, person or being is that's taking out cops. <laughs> I don't even have an answer. I, I, I don't even, I don't know how to retort that one. Sorry. I love cops. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, they protect the term. Uh, uh, I, I thought it was a cool uh, uh, trailer. And I'm as curious as you are, because the trailer actually, I mean, the suspense killed me, almost killed me, because I was like, wow, this looks really good. And yeah. Mary J. Blige, from the takes that I, see, I had seen from that, from that particular trailer, it treated me, because I was like, I didn't really know Mary could act that well. I mean, I've seen her in other stuff, but I was going, wow, that, that seems a little bit believable, because, you know, Mary has a little scar here. I don't know if anybody noticed it in the trailer. She's a little scar there. So it makes it believable. Like, she is a, she was or is a cop. Right. Um, I thought the psychiatric thing uh, interview went re really strangely because they were like, "Oh yeah, don't worry about it. Go back to work." And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, that oh, was odd." Oh. Yeah, I was like, "Well, oh, okay. to, to, to your point, so as she digs into this mystery, she uncovers a conspiracy, of, right, of, of silence between her fellow officers and a um, murdered black man, right? So Which, that explains why they were like, "Yeah, you just witnessed some crazy stuff, but go back to work." Which, which again, a lot of our films now are attacking so attacking social issues from an entertainment standpoint, and I think that's a good thing as well. Yeah, I mean, agree. Um, you know, earlier Richard Pryor had an interview um, years back uh, when they did a tribute to him, a tribute documentary, and he said, "You know, I, I document my comedy, my pain through my comedy." He said, "You may laugh, but this is my truth," and I think I think that is. Um, one of the ways that he came across and he was able to um, relate his stories and relate to a lot of people. And I think this is an avenue for us to do the same thing within our culture at, at, and outside of our ethnicities in terms of um, other people, other cultures watching what we put out as film and entertainment. So that's a good message underneath, not to go so deep to the bottom of the ocean, but I think um, I enjoy a film or a series or any entertainment that does teach and entertain at the same time. So this is part of that 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 whole theme that I like so much. I don't know what that buzzing noise is. I don't know what that is either. It's distracting. Um, yeah, I'm I'm excited to see Mary in in this because it's a it's a new role for her. Yes, it, it's a new character for her, right? She's no, she's done you know a lot of emotional dramatic. She's played a lot of emotional dramatic roles. Right. Uh, well, with the exception of the Umbrella Academy, which is on Netflix, that's that was also left field. Uh, yeah, um, but I I enjoyed them. Oh man, you have no idea. That was hotness. That was yeah, hot. 
I think that I watched maybe like one or two episodes, but didn't uh, didn't uh, dig deep into it. But uh, like I was saying, I'm excited to see Mary in this. I'm excited to see her acting chops as a police officer. How believable she will be, um, and you know, just to to see how this plays out in this uh, in this film. Well, and I was a really um, really impressed that Paramount uh, Home Entertainment actually took this on. So that was really really something, and that that I spoke to in the previous reviews. I mean, it's good when other people see uh, value in our stuff, not just us, but other people, because then it, it leads yeah. credence for the stories that, that we have to tell, um, like the Candymans and like, like, uh, uh, like sisters, like Oval, you know, those stories need to be told and, and, and shared with other ethnicities so they can understand where we come from and we can understand where they come from. I think it's really cool. So, um, if I had to, my brothers, I would, I would definitely watch this. Um, I would encourage everybody else to watch it as well. Um, I'm, in, I'm excited. I'm actually excited. Yeah, I'm excited because it's Mary, um, and just cause. So it's available to purchase on digital May nineteenth, and for rent on demand June second. So go I rent think, it, please. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll spend my little bit of change to support my, my, my fellow Capricorn, Mary J. <laughs> yes, and I like Mary because uh, I remember real love. <laughs> classic, classic, classic. First out. Like, yeah. and not to mention that you know, like that. Yeah, not to mention she's an Oscar-nominated, nine-time Grammy award-winning uh, singer. So you know she is very, very well loved and well known. So um, if she doesn't anchor your 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 um, wanting to see this movie, just see it because it's a different story, it's something different, and I'm, I'm sure doing these times in the pandemic, there's a lot of things you've watched already. So this is just an added bonus, if you will. Yeah, I agree. So that wraps up our video cast, short and sweet. Uh, tune in next Thursday. So we are live on Facebook next Thursday. We'll no longer be going live on Black Film Plus. Instead, it will be on the Black Film Facebook page same day, same time, Thursdays at 7. So tune in, tell a friend, spread the word. Hawk and I will be doing what it is we do and what we Check love about weekly. So I'll see you. We'll see you. Join us on Facebook, Black Film. And, oh, um, and Tuesdays, Plug Tuesdays. Tuesdays, Ellen and I get together and talk about some of the things that we're watching. We'd like to hear what you're watching. Grab a drink, join us. And we will be here on IG live to talk about what we're watching as you watch what you're watching. Our host, Ellen, Hot Too Nice. Follow us, Ellen the Great on IG, Hot Too Nice on IG. You can get us every Tuesday. And every Tuesday is on my IG at Ellen the Great at 7 p.m. So yes. thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Yes. Thanks, Hawk. Thank you, Ellen. <laughs> Bye.